What's up everybody? Welcome to the second edition of scanning 35 millimeter film cell slides. Film slides. Today we're gonna be detected. I went back and I bought 500 more. 500 more. Before we start this, a few things to consider. These are one of a kind photos. Two, there is no guarantee that these are from the same photographer, the same family, or even coming from the same country. And three, all of these film slides should be anywhere between the 1950s to the 1980s. Most of them will have a date on them and I will read them out to you if I find them, but they do not tell me where they're from. And as always, if you guys see anything in these photos that you recognize or can provide more information, please comment down below. Let's open this up. <laughs> Look at these. Oh man, there's definitely gotta be some good stuff in there. So I believe it's 50, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 500, and this says M11 Disney. So there's actually more than 500 in here. I'm not sure what those are. Let's do this guy, this guy. These will be for another video. If you guys like this idea, give it a thumbs up. Step two, we're using the Epson V600 photo scanner that comes with an insert that we put the 35 millimeter slides in and then we can scan it. Let's select four at random here. One, two, three, four. Pop it in. Now each scan takes about five minutes, so I'm not gonna show that process. I'll just come back. Now, first scans are done. Let's do this. Photo number one is from March 7th of 1959. It says Manti from Temple. Damn, it's like one of those red ones. Only indicator we have with this one it says Manti from Temple. Let's just go ahead and try Googling some stuff that are associated. Manti from Temple. It's pulling up Manti, Utah Temple. We have mountain ranges right here. Mountains there. Okay, instead of searching this temple. Oh, from Temple. They might actually be taking the picture from the temple. It's a picture of Manti, Utah from the temple. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yo, we are getting good at this. That looks pretty similar to that. Just this has dirt roads because it's 1959. This is Manti, Utah. Okay, man, look at the styles on this. What year is this? Is this backwards? Hold on. Okay, so if we zoom in, Gary Hart, Gary Hart, Gary, that says Gary Hart. Maybe Gary Mart. Your Bank America card, so this is definitely looks like it's the US. It looks like it's a ski hill in the summer because you have these. July of 1977. Let's look up Gary Mart. Gary Mart. Ski Hill. It's too random. It's pulling up random results. This isn't the same. In 2019, this looks like an antique show. But in 1977, I don't know if it's considered antiques at that point. Like that might just be standard dishware back then, you know? I don't think we're gonna get anything from this one. If any of you guys know, Please write in the comments down below. All right, next photo. Already this looks like New York City. And I'm only basing that off of the cabs here. You zoom in, yellow cab. The Denver Post, never mind. If you look right here, it says the Denver Post. This is Denver, Colorado. Ship Tavern. Something Hotel Ship Tavern. Let's Google that. This is September of 1984. Boom. We found it. Ship Tavern Brown Palace. This is the other side of the hotel. If you look here, we have Ship Tavern Brown Palace. We have the C and the E from Palace here, Hotel. Brown Palace Hotel. Oh, it says it right there. It says it in the photo right there. That was an easy find. All right, next photo. Okay, so this next one doesn't actually have a year. Oh, okay, this is European. So you can see how these vary. We just went from Denver, Colorado in the 80s to, I don't even know where this is just yet. What does it say over here? It looks like Switzerland or something. Spiel Warren souvenirs, sport article. If we look at this photo, I think this means like sporting gear, souvenirs, and I don't know what the hell that is. So that's not a good indicator. It's like, that's basically if you go to a tourist location saying souvenirs are sold here, sporting goods are here. That could be anywhere. So we might have to go based off of these signs. Okay, bus park plats. I don't know, that that's also sounds very generic. Okay, it pulled something, I think it's a, a type of bus service. Just give us a location here. Holland, this might be Holland. If anybody out there is from Holland and you recognize these type of license plates right here, or if this is Dutch, try to let me know where this is. Next photo. Oh, that was the fourth one. All right, let's scan four more. Okay, one, two, three, four, next four. Photo number four is from September of 1978. It's a boating one. Oh my God, this is gonna be so hard to locate. There's like barely any indicators in this photo. Uh, 1978, the boat looks like it might say US, no. This guy's got some serious angle in this photo. Essentially what this is, is I basically bought a bunch of people's camera roll on their iPhone. For those of you that can relate, how much we can do with it. Next. Oh, sick. We got a sporting event. It's like the halftime show. Is that Ohio? That might be Ohio. December of 78. 
No, there's no way this is December. Man, people are in t-shirts. Like, look down here. Fall, no, this is summer. Look, they're wearing shorts and stuff. This can't be Ohio in December. But that looks like Ohio State logo. Let's Google that. Yeah. Yeah, see, like, look, at, look at the O. That's the same O. This is Ohio. Ohio State Football Stadium, 1978. Right there. We just found it. Ohio State Buckeyes, 1970, 1978 football pocket schedule. This right here is 100% the same field as this right here. Oh my God. How did I miss this? They're spelling Ohio. They just haven't finished the word. We have the O right here, cursive into the H, which is the I right here. And I guess they're making the O. This almost looks like it's the same friggin' day. No, it's different because they're wearing black uniform. <laughs> yes, we figured it out. Okay, next one. Okay, Pan America. Looks like we have a guy that's ready to go on vacation. This is August of 1967. In the background, we have Pan America, which was an airline. Departures. This woman right here, though, is fixing her hair in the most stereotypical way, just like, you know, like this, the little bob cut fix. That's amazing. We captured that moment in time. 1967. I don't think we're gonna be able to get a, uh, oh wait, no, it says New Orleans right here. That also looks like it's an ad to maybe go to New Orleans. Okay, number eight. Whoa! Yo, the like aesthetic of this picture is amazing. It's a kid playing with a little puppy. What year is this? June of 1974. This house has floor to ceiling windows. Looks, looks actually pretty nice. Just the lighting of this is so, Artsy. That's a really great photo. I like that photo. No location on this. Unless someone recognizes this football jersey or jersey he's wearing. I think that's more like one of those ones you just pick up at the at like Walmart or something. It's not actually a team. That's a cute moment in time. All right, let's scan our last four. For our last four, this is a special one. As I was grabbing four at random, I noticed that there was two side by side that were actually the same. Searching further into the pile, I found four from the same family party, it looks like. Photo number one is this. 54. This might be the, some of the oldest photos we've actually scanned. This is from June 16th, 1954. Every single slide here is June 16th of 1954. What's interesting the thing and slightly sad about these photos is that the older people in this are probably long gone. Um, let's say this woman right here is 25. This was 65 years ago. She would be about like 90 today. 65 years ago, this baby, let's see if there's anything. One of these slides says Randy, one years old. So I'm guessing this is Randy um, and he's one. So he would be 66 today. This little baby would be 66 years old. That's how old this photo is. All right, next photo. Huh, okay, I can't tell if that's the same woman. Like there's the two photos. They've got very similar noses. So if it's not the same woman, then it's at least her sister. This is also June 1954. I think that's Randy. That looks like Randy in both photos. It's so weird to know that this kid's name is Randy that these are their photos, man. Like, it'd be so cool to link them up. All right, next one. Okay, there's baby Randy again, the 66-year-old man. It's so bizarre to see photos from the 50s that look like this, because this camera has like a bokeh effect going on, right? Like, its depth of field is still there. And this may be the most millennial thing I'll ever say in my life, but if you toss like a Instagram filter on this, this would look like a baby in today's world. Like the cameras were pretty decent, man. Like you got the texture on his shirt and everything. Okay, and the last one, baby Randy again. This would be the same day as the second one. He's got that blue outfit on, the blue shoes. So these might be two different days. And there's baby Randy with, I guess, his dad, who looks older than 25, might I add. So this guy's, say, 35. That means he'd be... 100. Honestly, my goal from this series would be somehow we could find these people because Ohio isn't that far from Toronto. There was some like Europe ones. I get that. That's probably a bit of a stretch, but there's some old man out there who's 66 years old that I've got his baby photos that I bought off of eBay. It just seems that he should have them, you know? There you guys have it. Those were 12 other scans. If you guys want more, I can do, I can probably add another one of these every week because these are really fun to film. Um, if you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you guys know when I have a video coming out. When you see this right now on my YouTube channel, I will actually be uploading three other scans that weren't in the video to my Instagram story. So if you've seen this within 24 hours of uploading, it's still there. Go check it out at Danocracy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.